Now let's talk about the anastomosis around the scapula. The anastomosis I mentioned earlier was a collateral channel or a bypass channel that would link up two parts of any artery. There's anastomosis occurring around the scapula and there are two types. One anastomosis is occurring in the body of the scapula while one is occurring in the acromion process. So the anastomosis around the scapula that occurs in the body is linking up the first part of subclavian artery to the third part of the axillary artery. While on the other hand, the acromion anastomosis links the first part of the subclavian artery to the second and third parts of the axillary artery both. That's the difference between them. So what are the various vessels that are constituting the body anastomosis or which are taking part in the anastomosis around the body of scapula, which includes which fossas? The subscapular, the supraspinous and the infraspinous fossas. Now, these are the various fossas where the body anastomosis of scapula is occurring. So, in these, there are three branches that are taking part. The first branch is known as the suprascapular artery. The suprascapular artery is a branch of the thyrocervical trunk, which is a branch of the first part of subclavian artery. The second branch that is forming the anastomosis around body of scapula is the deep branch of the transverse cervical artery, which is a branch of thyrocervical trunk yet again. And thyrocervical trunk is a part of the subclavian artery, a branch of the subclavian artery. And finally, one artery we are familiar with. This is the circumflex scapular artery, which was a branch of the subscapular artery, which was a branch of the third part of the axillary artery. So as you can see that it is proved that there is a connection between the subclavian and the axillary artery on the body. Now let's talk about the anastomosis around acromion. Here there are three vessels that are taking part and all these are acromial branches. So the acromial branches of, firstly, the acromial branch of the acromiothoracic artery, which we studied in the second part of the axillary artery, the acromiothoracic, it was a branch of the second part of the axillary artery, if you guys remember. It was giving an acromial branch, which is the first branch taking part in the anastomosis over the acromion. And then we have the acromial branch of the suprascapular artery. So second one is the acromial branch of the suprascapular artery, which was a branch of thyrocervical trunk, which was a branch of subclavian artery. And then finally, we have the acromial branch of the PCH. The posterior circumflex humeral artery was also giving a acromial branch that was taking part in the acromion anastomosis and PCH was a branch of, so third part of the axillary artery. Hence proven that First part is linked up to the second and third parts of the axillary artery. So this was all about the anastomosis around scapula. Thank you so much for watching.